Hey guys, Claire here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about all things Harry and Meghan. Due to the success of Suit, a Suit spinoff is in the works, and the name of the first character has been revealed. A character which is said to have similarities to Meghan Markle's Rachel Zane. This weekend, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, has officially been inducted into the 11 Legends of Aviation's Hall of Fame. Looking quite stellar, if I do say so myself. We've seen so many photographs and videos of Prince Harry receiving his honor and interacting with people in the crowd. I had to look outside my window to see if there were pigs flying because there was an actual complimentary article about Prince Harry in the Express. Unfortunately, I can't. It's classified. <laughs> One of the guests described Prince Harry as fabulous, very humble and sweet, and another described him as gracious and kind. Lauren Sanchez, fiancé of Jeff Bezos, shared a photo including Prince Harry and John Travolta with the caption, honored to have been in the presence of aviation legends who have shaped the history and future of flight. And if this is what it looks like to be shunned by Hollywood, May we all be shunned. There were two beautiful pieces of custom artwork created honoring Prince Harry, one of which I believe the fellow was able to get Prince Harry to sign it, and another was made of gold, copper, and was it silver pieces? Which is very, very cool. All in all, the night seemed a massive success. It was really nice to see Harry interacting with the others and having a good time. Set to add a new title to his name, Living Legend of Aviation. Tonight in Beverly Hills, Prince Harry will be one of four inductees honored as remarkable people of extraordinary accomplishment in the skies. The event co-hosted by NBC News' Tom Costello. The former royal served 10 years in the British Army, becoming an Apache pilot. In 2012, he spent time in the attack helicopter's cockpit while deployed to Afghanistan. The organization behind the award also notes Harry's founding of the Invictus Games, which supports wounded service members through sports. Among those responsible for selecting nominees, former recipient John Travolta, who's also hosted the ceremony for several years. The Hollywood legend has some history with the royal family. Travolta famously danced with Harry's mother, Princess Diana, at a White House dinner in 1985. Past honorees include notable names like Buzz Aldrin, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos, and actors Harrison Ford, Tom Cruise, and Morgan Freeman. Now with Prince Harry's induction, the organization set to add royalty to its list of legends. So check this out. If you're wondering how Prince Harry was selected to be named a living legend of aviation, the award is actually voted on. The organization behind the ceremony says individuals are nominated by past inductees and then committees make the final selection. So enough of these already appointed legends seem to agree Prince Harry is worthy of the title, Craig. And while Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are minding their business here in the U.S., the usual suspects are up in arms because Harry and Meghan, as far as we know, has not reached out to King Charles or Kate Middleton. And as far as we've seen so far, Harry has not hinted that he is remotely interested in flying over to the U.K. And I don't blame him. I'm beginning to wonder whether Harry has a heart as well. His sister-in-law is in hospital as we speak after a major operation. Catherine will be in for two weeks. Now, medics wouldn't keep you in for that long unless it was serious. Princess Kate's condition is such that William will be caring for her for many weeks when she gets home, and neither of them will likely perform public duties until after Easter. Meanwhile, the king himself heads off to hospital shortly for the treatment of an enlarged prostate. Why, therefore, isn't Harry here in the UK? comforting his sister-in-law, supporting his brother at a tough time, and of course taking care of his dear old dad, who isn't getting any younger. Now, I can't be the only person who chuckles at this barrage of insane narratives coming from people like this fellow right here. Just a, a day or two ago, people like him were attacking his two-year-old daughter, who in their eyes is unworthy of having the name of Lilibet. Did his dear old dad, brother, or sister-in-law say anything? They have been completely silent as Harry and Meghan and their children have been lambasted for years. But Harry is supposed to drop everything and go to support people, has been working hand in hand with the people who have been making Harry and Meghan and their children's life a living hell for the past four or five years. 
this fellow from GB News and just about every commentator, world reporter, are always telling us that Harry is irrelevant, Harry is dumb, Harry is unmotivated, he is this, that, and the other. You think of a negative uh, word for someone at some point or another, in the past few years, they have used every negative word to describe Harry and Meghan. They have tried consistently and failed to belittle every project that they have engaged in. They have tried to um, make their names so polarizing in an effort to or in a hope to stop other organizations and charities and people from wanting to work with them, from wanting to even be linked to them in any way. So you're telling me Harry and Meghan are so bad, right? They're so irrelevant. They're so unnecessary. But whenever something happens, who is the first person they talk about? Why isn't Harry and Meghan here? Especially Harry. Where is Harry? He needs to support his brother. So in one breath, Harry is irrelevant and dumb. But in the other, he is a necessary tool for William. He's a necessary tool for the family and the firm. Which one is it? Because you can't have it both ways. Interestingly enough, we don't see any other family members uh, putting out messages of support for Charles and Kate. We don't see them rushing to the hospital. We have seen William popped once going to see Kate. You see Sophie dancing and laughing and having a good old time. You see Eugenie and the other one out and about doing fashion shows and other engagements. We don't see them putting out statements of support and well wishes. We don't see them dropping what they're doing. They're going on about their lives just as the rest of us. Okay, so you said they're ticked off because he left the UK and is outshining the king and brother with his mixed race wife. No facts. All of this is facts. But something that I've been thinking about a lot recently is how Harry is what I call like a heart piece of a family. Like, essentially, these are individuals who when they walk into the room, they bring laughter and light and love. They are good with many different types of personalities within the family, oftentimes even the most difficult personalities in a family. And they end up kind of being the glue that keeps that family together. And when Harry left the UK, he took all of that with him. And I think that the British royal family are feeling it, as well as some UK citizens. Um, There was a clip on here, and I forgot which one of my mutuals had it, but there were these men that were talking. And, you know, they were saying, you know, how essentially Harry needs to come back, but you know, how good he is at speaking and how good he is with people, etc. And it's like, I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, he is all of those things, but y'all were terrible to him. But when we look at the British royal family, like currently, like the working royals, there are no breakout stars in that family right now. You have Charles with a large group of people who want him to abdicate. Um, There's another very large group of people who look at him as a transitional king. So there's no investment in Charles. When you look at William, William is very awkward, allegedly has rage issues, but he's just mostly unlikable. He's just an unlikable character. You know, I always think about when he went to Scotland and like only three or four people showed up. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That is, oh my God, I would not have survived that. Mm-mm. But, you know, he's not, like I said, he's not super well loved. People don't go out of their way to support him. This is another reason why I think that Earthshot hasn't done super well. And then you had Kate, or you have Kate, you know, and Kate is pretty, but she is uninteresting um, and appears to lack depth. Not to mention in recent, you know, months, she's been hit with the royal racist allegations, which seems to be sticking more to her than it is to Charles. But either way, it has severely damaged this woman's reputation. So you'd have a family that doesn't have a bunch of breakout stars, but your one star left. He left. And they have gone out of their way to try to convince everybody in their mama that people hate them and Hollywood wants to turn their back on them and they're the worst people ever. And then you see all of these people loving and supporting them on a regular basis. 
people absolutely enrage about an award that has absolutely nothing to do with them nothing to do with them changes nothing about their day but enraged going as far as to lie and say that he bought the award even though there's zero evidence of that happening um and it's these things to make them feel better because they they don't like this guy but they also recognize that him being outside of the control of the firm is bad business for the family this is why we've gotten multiple articles about harry going awol how he needs to call his family how he needs to come home during this time of need yeah because harry is the only likable one out of the bunch and you treated him like crap he ain't going back now pierce morgan is in the u.s and made a quick visit to the breakfast club why would they have Piers Morgan on that show? I do not know, but it really doesn't matter because <laughs> he went on there and surprise, surprise, he's talking about Meghan Markle again because he is obsessed. But honey, they were eating him up in the comment sections saying just like I just said, first of all, what is he doing there? Why are you here? This this is not your space. We do not want you here. We're not interested in listening to whatever you have to say. But honey, the drag session that was going on in the comment section, it made me chuckle. Well, shama llama ding dong, baby. Okay, so Kate Middleton is out for surgery. Prince Charles is out because his button whatever wasn't working right and now suddenly he's out too because he has to take care of the kids these might not take care of their kids when y'all gonna wake up name a single royal that has ever raised kids they don't do that it's not in their dna you feel me you cannot convince me that he's taking off now for the entirety to take care of their children i have never heard of a case to where even a governor of the United States takes care of their kids. You mean to tell me he does? Sit down. Oh, yeah, they're out all right. Out of sight, out of mind. You know what I mean? I must admit that reading the comment sections from some of these incredibly sycophantic articles has also made me chuckle. <laughs> Kate's Rock rushes to her side, Rebecca English's deeply personal portrait of Prince William and why she knows he'll bend heaven and earth to support his wife. Girl, <laughs> if you don't knock it off, knock it off, Rebecca. Liz Jones, this feels personal. The news Kate is in the hospital has hit me like a young member of my family has been struck down. Between Liz and Rebecca, you know what? Moving on. In other news, Prince Harry drops one of his legal cases against the Associated Newspaper. A spokesman for the Sussexes said that the Duke was focusing instead on the safety of his family and his legal case against the Home Office over security arrangements for himself, his wife, and children when they are in the UK. His focus remains there rather than these legal proceedings that give a continued platform to the male's false claims all those years ago. Other headline from yesterday. Let's pray that they're both okay. Again, I wish them nothing but the speedy recovery, no complications. But it's not as if they're on life support. I've already mentioned I'll be there for Kate. Others that perhaps tell the story more, royal, double royal health shock, royals rocked by Kate Op. Well, they rocked. And today, The Sun, which is a big selling newspaper, Hair, air for you, as in there for you, air, and it's and there's a picture of Prince William driving away after his visit yesterday, taking up the vast majority of the front page, as if it's extraordinary that a husband would visit his wife after she's had surgery, and you turn inside, Prince cancels all dates to be with Kate. Well, of course he does. What, what as I said before. Prince announces tour of Australia as Kate recovers. That would be a story. So what is behind the change? We're so lucky in the UK. We've got a national health service, which means that we can go into hospital and have a major operation and be out within a couple of days. I mean, poor Princess Kate, she chose to go private and she's having to stay in hospital for a whole two weeks. Fortunately for her, Prince William has cleared his diary. 
must have taken a long time. Homeless people are going to have to wait as their plight is put on hold. And as for making peace in the Middle East, well, it's not like there's any urgency there, is there? The male told us how he's going to be juggling childcare and looking after his princess. Apparently Kate reads the mail online. I hope she's not going to split her stitches laughing at this. But it is going to be hard for him, isn't it? Juggling all those jobs between the 60 staff. Apparently he's very good at juggling. So my guess is he's going to be spending some time in the rose garden, juggling his balls. Nicole, <laughs> girl, <laughs> you really fixed your mouth to tell that lie? Because y'all have never given Meghan Markle grace at all. I mean, when the girl sat up here and said that she was having ideations, what did y'all do? Call her a liar. Said she never had those thoughts. Y'all wanted her to prove that there was something wrong with her mentally internally when she told her husband oh that was a lie she didn't she didn't have those thoughts she never had those thoughts she's a liar when the woman sat there and said that she had a miscarriage what did y'all say oh she's lying she's lying she's lying she never had a miscarriage when she sat there and said that her and her husband buried their child child in their backyard oh that's a lie too she does not get the same grace hell she don't even get the same grace with the children that are living Y'all like to sit there and say her own living children are fake, rented, moon pies. Hell, when she was pregnant with those same living children, what did y'all say? Oh, she rubs her belly too much. Why is she always touching her stomach? Oh, that's a moon bump. That's a moon pie. She's not really pregnant. But yet, y'all's fave is pregnant. Crickets. No criticism. Your fave falls down always got band-aids on yet we're supposed to give her privacy let's not let's not do that lie nicole let's not do that lie mother markle don't get the same grace and you know it y'all treat megan markle less than a human being hell y'all can go on <coughs> on my comments in the last two videos to see how much y'all really feel about mother markle so treating her like a human being no you treat her less than a dog that gets scraps okay have a good day prince harry hits the gym in santa barbara the day before kate middleton and king charles surgery news they they created an entire article about this man working out and then the news about charles and kate like, this is the most ain't nothing article I have read in a very long time. Why is Prince Harry jogging in a beanie and a puffer coat? How the Duke could be following in his wife Meghan's footsteps by wrapping up in mild California winter weather. This is an entire article about this man wearing his puffer coat. And it's not cold enough for this man to be wearing a puffer coat and a beanie. And like, that's the, that's the article. <laughs> like they they created an entire article complaining about what this man was wearing to go jogging what princess patrice will have to step up for king charles as prince harry will not i can't i can't and last but certainly not least harry must have been contemplating how it could have been so different his family needs him, but he has gone AWOL. And it raises some important what ifs. Harry, Hal, H, or Harold, the royal formerly known as Prince. <laughs> <laughs> These people are not serious. They are so unserious. Must be sitting in his Montecito mansion, contemplating how it could have been so different should have been perhaps rather than gazing at his navel or collecting pointless awards such as being lauded as the legend of aviation the former armored chopper pilot could have been doing something useful for the crown and country once the darling of the british public for his service and refreshingly fun character there was a time when harry played his role as a working royal to perfection 
likable and engaging. He threw himself into official duties with such gusto, home and abroad, and won favor with his grandmother, the late queen. Then, after he wed actress Megan, he flounced off across the pond to start his new life. What exactly is this once hardworking man doing now? That's not entirely clear, except to say that now, just when his father, the king, needs him, he's gone AWOL. Worse, he has burnt most of his bridges by attacking his family in books and films. <laughs> Some really big Friday news. Um, Prince Harry decided to withdraw his libel claim against Associated Newspapers for an article they published back in 2022. And I just wanted to make a very quick video to say that this is not the same case as this. I already know that misinformation regarding Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and the entire royal family runs rampant online. However, I'm already seeing stuff like this. This is the big one. This is the one about the unlawful information gathering that he has taken to court with uh, Elton John, Elizabeth Hurry, uh, Baroness Lawrence, um, and I think a few others. This one is going to trial. It should start March this year. Harry did release a statement, Paul's to read, but essentially it just comes down to where do you put your time and energy? He's going to put his time and energy into the legal case brought against the home office, which initially is the one that denied him any security. A ruling for this one is expected sometime this year. We just don't know when. As we all know, tonight is the Living Legends of Aviations Award, which Harry has been honored. Um, I hope, I hope that his team um, still plan on going. It's kind of PR 101 to try and drown out bad news with good news. Um, perfect opportunity to say I'm living my best life, I am moving forward, it's a new year, let's celebrate. And you win some, you lose some. Literally, that could be the theme of today for him. So I'm gonna need everyone to start a prayer circle that both Harry and Meghan are there. No, it's not just you. It really just seems like they're laying it on very thick right now. I feel like the, re the reason why the press is really laying it on thick and trying to generate sympathy is because yesterday when Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace released the statements about King Charles III and Kate Middleton. Um, a lot of people were joking. Like, it, I mean, obviously, people so there were there were people out there who were indeed sympathetic, but um, but from what I can see, there was just a lot of speculation on on why was the statement from Kensington Palace so vague. And of course, there was the speculation that maybe she's getting plastic surgery, maybe she's not sick, maybe she's like doing all these like other things. And so yeah, today they were laying it on super thick. Richard K, the double blow of King Charles and our feature Queen Kate's medical treatments leave the nation reeling. It sends a shiver down our spines and shows how threadbare royal resources are. And people in the comments of that particular article on, on the Daily Mail were absolutely just tearing it to shreds. And, and they said, yeah, nobody's actually reeling over this. Um, it's not sending shivers down anyone's spine. And then Daily Mail again, let's pray that they're both okay. And here's and here's the thing. I do hope that they both end up being okay. Um, I just feel like for like the general public, you know, the masses, you know, people are either indifferent or they're making jokes or they're like, okay, well, I, I hope they're fine. However, I feel like once they start really cramming it down people's throats like this, it's going to have the opposite effect of what they're going for. Case in point, this tweet, and I think it had like a few thousand likes on it, like like I think over like 10,000. Like it feels a little bit too much. And once again, like I said before, I hope they both are well. They're just laying it on very thick. And of course it just seems like a way to distract from other things that are happening within the British royal family. For example, the PDF file that lives in Royal Lodge. It seems like they're doing all of this just so that people can forget about him but no one's forgetting about them everyone is just like are they doing this just just so that we, we don't think about andrew because it's not going to work hi right wing media there's been quite a lot of criticism over the years about the different ways that you approach prince william and prince harry so for example at the moment isn't it princess of wales is in hospital she's going to be stalwart she's going to come out she's going to work in her bed 
Prince William's going to take time off to spend with his family. It's extraordinary. He's he's her rock, apparently, <laughs> as we call him, just a husband. And yet, Prince Harry and Meghan, they carry on in their merry way, don't they? Meghan doesn't go to an awards event with Prince Harry because supposedly one of her children's ill, and she lets him down. <laughs> Whereas Kate is not letting anybody down. She's just in bed working. It's like, just leave them alone leave Harry and Meghan alone. Just let them do what they do so that the royalists can be happy with them and leave the rest of us get on with our lives. And why don't you print some news? There you go. Give it a, give it a go, as you were. And now this is the video of press camping out in the lobby of where the gala was held. Look at them, waiting, hoping to get a glimpse of Prince Harry, the prince that they claim is irrelevant. Yeah, sure. People think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell.